What's up guys, welcome back to another video. I'm currently here at uh, Castake Lake, the upper lake. I'm at the main launch ramp, I'm walking the shore. And uh, there's been a few trout stockings lately. And what I'm doing is I'm targeting striped bass and largemouth bass, throwing giant swim baits. My last trip here, I had a couple of blow ups on the swim bait on the Depths 250. You know what, let me roll those clips right now. Oh, that striper's there. He's, dude. Oh, mm. oh got him. Oh, he came off. No. Oh. Holy crap. Huge fish. Scared the shit out of me. He missed the hooks. Yeah, as you guys saw there, I got two massive hits on the depths 250, but man, they just, one of them just came off the hooks and the other one just completely missed the hooks. So I'm hoping I can change that today. So yeah, hopefully I get better luck today and actually end up landing one. Not like last time. Man, I didn't have luck that day, so I'm back. It's quite a bit colder. Actually, I have gloves on this time. Probably unnecessary, but I just want to be as comfortable as possible. Now I'm going to start off with the glide bait and uh, move on from there. So they stocked trout again two days ago. They gotta be fooled and eat this. Hoping I just fool one right away. It's a Sunday and I'm the first one to the water here, so. Oh, I got, oh, there we go. I got one right away. Oh, he's pulling drag. Oh man, stay on, stay on, first cast. Stay on. Hell yeah. I'm gonna get around this side. No, no, I lost them. Oh, I saw it. <laughs> no way. First thing in the morning, huh? Yeah. I mean, it wasn't too big, probably like five, six pounds. 
Well, striper. Striper. Dude, what the hell? I had a bite right there. <sighs> Second bite. Oh my god. Come on. I gotta land at least one. Is this a striper? Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. I gotta land this one. Oh. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. I'm sorry? Striper. striper. Thanks. Oh, hell yeah. I'm sorry? Oh, go for it, dude. That's a nice fish. Finally, all that hard work paid off. All right, guys. Just caught this striper on a 250. Nice fish. I missed one at the rocks, but this one, this one took it and got hooked, finally. I've been chasing this fish for a few weeks now. Finally, I ended up getting one on the end of my line. Wow. There's the 250 right there. Cool, thank you. There you go guys, 8.3, 8.4, 8.5, time to release this nice striper. All right. Okay, I think all this boat traffic scared the uh, stripers away. So what I'm thinking of doing is just walking out that way. Yeah, that's two stripers I hooked, landed one. The first one was a little bit smaller than the second one I caught. So I'm glad I landed the second one. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna walk down this way and see if I can get lucky again. So, the way I work this bait is I just try to cast it as far as possible, but just for demonstration purposes, I'm just gonna 
just fling this out right there. What I do is I just, well, for the fall at least, I do one, one, two, one, one, two, one, one, two. And that's how I've been getting my bites basically. But it does take a lot of practice to get down the cadence. So again, make your long cast. Wait a few seconds, depending on the depth you want to fish. And you just start getting the bait rolling just by making a couple of cranks, get it moving. And then you start doing the one, one, two, one, 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 two. You can like mix and match, it doesn't matter. As long as the fish looks like it's like scared running away for its life. And when it gets close to the rocks, you just kind of like do this with your rod. It looks like a real trout trying to run away. Just like that. Reel up the slack and then boom, boom. I actually got hit doing that. So that does work. Oh, got him. Oh, no freaking way. That thing's going crazy. No freaking way. Dude. Holy crap. That thing's going crazy. <sighs> Woo. <laughs> oh my God. Striper. Oh no. I lost it. Big striper. Yeah, nice. Oh man. Wow. Oh my God. Bro, that was a big fish. <sighs> Dude, I couldn't, I couldn't bring that fish in. It was too powerful. That sucks. I was so close. Damn, he freed up all my line. He took me underneath that little branch, tried to break me up on these rocks. Wow. Yeah, unfortunately I lost that one, but for throwing swim baits, today was a crazy good day. I had countless followers. I hooked up into three fish, only landed one, but I mean, a lot of times when you're swim baiting, you don't even catch one fish, so I'll take it. <laughs>